What's the relation between Chandrayaan-3 mission and Interstellar, the movie? And what is their connection to Elon Musk that it becomes the major headlines these couple of days? Don't really seem connected, do they? But they have become the major talks in the media. Hey everyone, welcome back to Bold Entrepreneurs, the channel where you get to know about the things happening to the world today. For now, we are going to talk about the success of ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization, and their Chandrayaan-3 mission to soft land on the moon. ISRO is like the NASA version in India, and they have done a great achievement with their Chandrayaan-3 success. Because of this achievement, India has joined the exclusive club of countries managing to land successfully on the moon together with China, Russia, and America. There are so many reasons why this mission is considered impressive and quite a wow thing. First of all, the soft landing took place on the southern pole of the moon, which has been an uncharted area. In fact, India is the first one, and so far the only country, that did so. Other countries landed on a rather familiar area for safety reasons. What's more impressive is that India and ISRO managed to do so with a budget only half of the movie budget for Interstellar. The cost of the mission was around $75 million, while the budget for Interstellar was $165 million. It means that the real cost for launching a moon mission isn't exactly as expensive as the cost for Hollywood make-believe movie. This is probably the reason why Elon Musk reacted to his particular style while responding to a post regarding the mission. No wonder if Sundar Pichai, a Google CEO of Indian origin, applauded the mission and its success. He commended the success on X, a platform that was known as Twitter before. His tweet caught the attention of Musk, X's owner, in which he replied, good for India. It seems that the news of Chandrayaan-3 has become viral after Musk's response to Pichai, and now everyone is learning about the fact. There are some interesting facts we can gain from this. First of all, it's quite shocking that the actual cost for a real space mission isn't exactly as huge as the one for Hollywood standard entertainment. It's kind of sad, too. Many people think of it as an irony, with such a lot of money being spent on movie instead being invested in the real space exploration and mission. Wouldn't it great if such tons of money are actually spent on the real deal? Imagine how much achievements and development can be actually made with such limitless budget. Moreover, the mission proves that India can develop such a technology to make it worthy of tech competition with other countries. With Chandrayaan-3 success, a lot of people are asking what happened to Chandrayaan-2. Well, the country did launch Chandrayaan-2 mission, but their Vikram lander wasn't successful in 2019. At that time, it crashed on the surface of the moon, making it a costly lesson to learn for ISRO. Nevertheless, kudos to India. Managing a space mission isn't easy, let alone having to succeed in it. With the not-so-much budget and the fact that they landed on the uncharted area, and they still managed to do it quite well, has spoken tons of volume about their abilities and efforts. It shouldn't be surprising that Pikai and Musk have applauded the mission. We can also learn that making a movie can be exorbitantly costly, and if people want to use their straight mind, such money can be invested better into other things, such as space exploration or other research that can actually be beneficial for humankind. That's just my two cents anyway. That's all for now. Don't forget to like this video and then subscribe to us, Bold Entrepreneurs, for more interesting info. Adios and see ya.